China intends to provide local governments with $137 billion in special sovereign bonds in order to help them reconstruct regions damaged by disasters and upgrade infrastructure for disaster prevention. Some of these plans include building the largest dam in the world, flattening 700 mountains to make space for a brand new city, and many others. Also the longest underwater highway tunnel in China may be discussed if you stick around until the very end. The Three Gorges Dam The Yangtze River was picked as the site for the construction of the Three Gorges Dam, which is the largest hydroelectric dam in the world. With 500 billion cubic meters of water flowing through the river annually on average in the first section of the river, over 1 million square kilometers have been brought under control. The construction of this enormous concrete building took 17 years, 40,000 workers, and $37 billion to fund the project. Only 6 billion gallons of concrete were required for the project to be finished. Also 463,000 tons of steel, with that same material, it can build 63 Eiffel Towers in France. 32 enormous generators, each weighing 6,000 tons, were built just for this dam. The Three Gorges Dam is now fully operational due to the activation of its 32 generators, with a combined capacity of 700 megawatts for each of the 32 main turbines and two smaller turbines. The combined power produced may be utilized for energy production producing electricity is not the dam's primary goal. Additionally, it is used for a wide range of other things, such as irrigation, tourism, transportation, and flood protection. It holds the river back during the flood season, which resolves a significant problem. Enormous cities along the Yangtze, such as Shanghai, Wuhan, and Nanjing, are among the millions of people it helps safeguard. Shanghai Center Built at the Shanghai Skyline's Golden Treasure. Imagine that the building of this astounding 273-foot, 32-meter tall structure in 2015 came at an incredible cost of $4.2 billion to construct, which is expensive but worth it standing as the third highest skyscraper in the world after the Merdeka 118, as well as the tallest structure in China with pride. This building represents more than simply its height. It also represents the country's economic strength, its twisted spiral structure, which rises to a staggering 128 floors, is created by piling nine enormous cylinders on top of one another. Not only is the outer layer made of glass, but it also resembles a superhero shield. Just picture a structure with transparent glass outside and incredibly solid, full-covered metal inside. Together, they save a ton of energy, keep the interior comfortable, and regulate how much sunshine penetrates. Regarding energy, the Tower of Shanghai is not only tall but also green and expert at consuming less energy, making it more environmentally friendly. It was also awarded a very prestigious platinum authorization for its excellent energy efficiency and environmental friendliness. You are going to be in for a treat once you go inside. There is an entire universe, it's not simply an office tower. Imagine this as a massive urban playground where business, entertainment, and commerce are all blended together. Zoom all the way up to the very top if you're feeling adventurous. An exciting journey leads to the spectacular view from the observation balcony. Imagine lifts going up at such high rates of speed that they will make your heart miss a pulse. That being said, the Shanghai Tower offers it all, be it breathtaking views, innovative architecture, or just plain old fun. This structure is more than that. It serves as a reminder that human creativity is boundless and a window into the future of building more giant skyscrapers. The Taihu Tunnel Be ready to be amazed by the Taihu Tunnel, a work of engineering that took only four years plus 1.56 billions of dollars to finish. It truly is amazing. Chinese engineers succeeded where others could not, penetrating Taiho Lake to create China's longest as well as broadest underwater tunnel. Unlike traditional bridges that could detract from Tai Lake's stunning beauty, this amazing tunnel makes it possible to cross the lake in under 8 minutes of travel through the tunnel. China chose to use the almost 11-kilometer underground expressway. The tunnel in question is considered one of the longest in the entire world and has the sense of a well-kept secret route. Bid farewell to gridlock on the streets. Whereas the Bay Penang Bridge frets about bad weather, China has a tunnel option. One prospective risk driver may find themselves sleeping off on this particular straight route, but otherwise, this undersea tunnel appears as peaceful as a cucumber. The trip becomes a stunning light display similar to a nightclub party for drivers without the dance floor, thanks to the countless brightly colored LED lights that line the route that keep divers excited. It might be difficult to construct subterranean tunnels nowadays. This Taihu tunnel was designed to preserve secret ventilation by pumping out the water utilizing Corfa dams.
but the channel tunnel connecting France and England opted to dig below the waterbed technique. Overlooking the lake, shafts were deftly concealed, one of them resembles a secret island. One looks like a statue in the form of a conch, and another even poses as an old boat. It's like a competitive engineering version of hide-and-seek. The Taihu Tunnel holds incredible mysteries. Well, the Lerdal Tunnel in Norway is much longer than this road tunnel in the entire world. However, China is aiming to break records, so hang on to your hard helmets. A staggering 105.25-kilometer railway tunnel that will make previous tunnels seem like moles is being planned to connect Yangtai and Dalian. Hills, all of these are components of China's low-key, high-speed rail revolution. Put on your seat straps and prepare for a water-based adventure, they're like superheroes on wheels of transportation. Come along on China's engineering adventure. Amazingly, they are transforming tunnels into compelling pieces of architectural art that will wow you with their brilliant lighting and sneaky ventilation. Please, guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell. The Fenhe Bridge Let's take a closer look at Marvel's massive infrastructure, which includes the largest railway bridge development of its sort in the world. The Fenhe Bridge, which is an essential component of the Fenhe Railway Bridge Menghua Freight Rail Line. Connecting Inner Mongolia with Central as well as Southwest Western China, this massive railway bridge is an astounding 1817 kilometers long, or around 1,250 miles. Note this, with its highest pier reaching 74 meters, 242 feet, in height. The viaduct has an astounding 216 piers, with a base that descends an incredible 91 meters, 298 feet, below the surface. The complete construction stretches around 8,000 meters, 26,000 feet. But why such a massive undertaking? Everything revolves around transportation, especially for the area, with the goal of handling trains as heavy as 20,000 tons. This railroad line aims to move 200 million tons of goods annually. Just think about the volume of mobility that this amazing infrastructure can enable. Land you new area, get ready to be amazed. With their strong commitment, Chinese engineers have undertaken an incredible challenge, transforming landscapes. Rather than biding their time for the gradual process of nature, they have taken action to bring mountains into shape. Due to a lack of habitable space, one of the biggest construction firms in China has started a massive initiative to level mountains and create enormous regions that can be populated by people. The Lanju area is preparing for even more breathtaking feat by filling valleys with dirt and stones from the mountains and extending towns by hundreds of square kilometers of level land. A massive mining operation that might be the biggest mountain-moving spectacular in history is poised to begin, flattening another 700 mountains, in the hopes that this new city might increase the economic output of the area by an impressive $27 billion by 2030. An incredible $3.5 billion is going to be invested in this groundbreaking project to make it possible to build a major new city. The Guangzhou Opera House let us explore the realm of China's masterpieces of architecture. Although concrete as well as steel are often used by builders, this Guangzhou Opera House defies convention. This massive work of art, which was created by the well-known London-based architect Zaha Hadid, is a monument to creativity. Consider this, with 1,800 seats spread over 70,000 square meters of carefully designed triangle chambers. The area is enormous. The way that every curve and angle of this architectural marvel, which was inspired by nature. Zaha had a designed a building that resembles the stones that are scattered across the Pearl River banks by drawing inspiration from the natural world's works of art, rivers, canyons, stones, slopes of mountains, and gorges. The project's initial budget was $120 million, but the architect also indicates that the final cost ended up needing to be $200 million. Why limit yourself to just one impressive theater? Let's look at the Harbin Opera House, another magnificent opera theater that reflected the splendor of the surrounding scenery arose. Situated on a swampy island, this architectural masterpiece spans 79,000 square feet and resembles a sinusoid with its convex concave shape constructed of white metal panels. A road bridge connects this island to the rest of the city, allowing the building and the surrounding landscape to mix together seamlessly. Imagine a low white wall that blends in with snowdrifts throughout the winter, strengthening the link between the opera house and its surroundings. The opera houses are more than simply gorgeous buildings. They are centers of culture that host events and provide a stage for acting as a public art form. These are profound experiences that combine the beauty of nature with architecture, not simply buildings. Of these projects, which one is your favorite? 
please let us know in the comment section. If you like this video, you may also enjoy this one.